Hey everyone, welcome into our latest Trade to Black podcast. I'm your host, Chad Deals, and today we're taking a trip that's truly out of this world. Seriously, scientists just launched cannabis seeds into space, and I'm being serious. A new international research mission is testing how cannabis responds to cosmic radiation and microgravity, and the implications? Well, they go beyond just getting high. So could cannabis be a key to farming on Mars? Let's break it down. So back on June 23rd, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. On board, a biological incubator called Maya Sat-1 developed by the Geno Plant Research Institute in Slovenia. Inside that incubator were hundreds of biological samples, including approximately 150 cannabis seeds. So what's the mission's goal? To expose these seeds to extreme levels of radiation in low Earth orbit, specifically over the poles where solar particles are most intense and then bring them back to earth for analysis so you might ask why cannabis well according to lead researcher Bozidar Rastasik cannabis is one of the most versatile plants on earth it grows fast adapts well and has been cultivated for thousands of years it can be used for food and protein textiles and building materials bioplastics and of course which we all know medicine Radisic believes that if we're going to build lunar or Martian colonies, cannabis could be a cornerstone crop, providing everything from shelter to sustenance. The Maya Sat-1 capsule was designed to orbit Earth three times in just a few hours, passing through high radiation zones near the poles. The idea is to see how cosmic radiation and microgravity affect the genetic structure of the seeds. So once recovered, scientists will then germinate the seeds, grow them over multiple generations, analyze for mutations in root structure, cannabinoid production, and stress resistance. Sounds wordy, doesn't it? So in other words, they're looking to accelerate evolution to create cannabis strains that could thrive in space or, in this case, on Mars. So this isn't just a gimmick. As we look forward to long-term space missions and planetary colonization, we'll need crops that can, one, grow in low gravity, two, survive radiation exposure, and three, adapt to Martian soil conditions. Cannabis is a strong candidate because it's resilient, it's fast-growing, and biologically complex. And this isn't the first time it's gone to space either. Back in 2020, SpaceX sent cannabis cell cultures to the International Space Station to study how microgravity affects plant development. It's pretty cool, actually, when you think about it. And what's even cooler, here's the twist. The capsule, called Nix Mission Possible, was supposed to splash down in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. But just minutes before landing, communication was lost. The parachute system failed, and the capsule crashed into the ocean, destroying the experiment. So while the seeds made it to space and orbited Earth, their secrets are now resting somewhere in the Pacific. So for anyone wanting to find out where it is, best of luck to you. Despite the crash, the mission is being called a partial success. The capsule launch stabilized and re-entered Earth's atmosphere, and the team behind it is already planning a follow-up mission, this time with a more advanced capsule that could support long-term plant growth in orbit. They're also working on simulated Martian soil experiments here on Earth, testing how cannabis interacts with different nutrients and environmental stressors. So you may ask, why does this all matter? This story might sound quirky, but it's part of a much bigger trend. As space exploration becomes more and more commercial and collaborative, biological research is going orbital, and cannabis, with its genetic complexity and practical uses, is a perfect test subject. So whether it's for medicine, materials, or mental health, cannabis could play a re-role in sustaining life beyond Earth. And who would have thought that? So what do you all think of this story? You interested in it? Does it sound pretty quirky? Or does it sound like, you know what, there's so much we don't know about this plant? In the end, is cannabis the crop for the future in Mars? Who knows? But we We'd love to get your curiosity, so leave your comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. Again, there's so much research, which is why we need to reschedule cannabis that we don't know about the plant, but it seems like there's a lot of benefits, whether it's here on Earth, or in this case, potentially, maybe on Mars. Hope you like this lighter side of the story here today. Always looking to find information to educate you, the viewer. So greatly appreciate it. You could like, subscribe. So again, let us know your feedback by leaving the comments below. That's it for today. In the meantime, like I always say, stay open-minded, stay connected, and stay educated. Educated here at TDR's Trade to Black podcast. Thanks for watching, everyone.